Hey everybody, this is Thumper and welcome to my new video. I hear a lot of stories from my friends in banking about the different kind of annoying customers who visit them. This video goes to everybody who works in Indian banks. Scheme scanners. These people will scan in the morning for any kind of new schemes introduced by the government in any kind of newspaper and other media and they want it. Jan Than, 12 rupee insurance, Sukanya, Adal pension scheme and even a zero balance account will do. If you tell them Jandhan for example is for the people who doesn't have any account so far they will go cancel their existing account so that they get eligible for this plan. They already have their credit cards and debit cards but they somehow need their rupee card and nobody knows why. Once everything is done they will cancel this account so that they get eligible for some other scheme. Now there's another kind who comes with a zero balance account form and put a lot of pressure on you to open a new account because he has an urgent need to deposit some money. He opens a new account, activates it, puts a 2000 rupees check in his name, withdraws the whole money and never comes back. Now you have one extra inactive account to take care of. Another type is scam scammers. Now these guys specialize on how to screw you and scam the bank. And they are very straightforward about it. Sir, any new loan scheme which is likely to be written up in the future by the government side? No hidden agenda. This happens mostly in the rural branches. There are people who specializes in agricultural loans and the best of all is the cattle loans. Takes a loan for buying a cow, buys a cow, resells it and never talks about repayment. If somebody from the bank goes and asks about this thing, he'll say, the cow is dead, what are you going to do? Then there are education loans. The father takes a loan, who is a farmer on records but absolutely wealthy man, takes a loan for his son. The son later gets a six figure monthly salary but never bothers to repay the loan. If you check with them regarding the repayment, they will explain their apprehension. Sir, it is an education loan sir. I don't want to do a mistake of repaying it fully and then the government decide to write it off sir. That is the risk he doesn't want to take man. Repaying the loan? Never. Another kind is Jaga Grahi, the awakening customer. These people apparently know everything about banking industry. Industry standards, benchmarks, RBI policies and what not. They will come to the bank and demand to see the branch manager and nobody else. He even claims that the manager's salary is paid by him because he has a 25,000 fixed deposit in the bank. His problem is that he knows that the bank is stealing his money. You know why? Because the fixed deposit rate in your bank is 8.2% and some other bank is already offering 8.25% and he's worried about a 0.05%. You can't fool him, he says. He has accounts with three other private banks, two other public sector banks and even a post office savings scheme. He comes and threatens you saying that unless you give a written explanation on why the rate is lower, he will close his account. All that you are praying is that he closes the account as he is threatening because the bank doesn't give a damn about the 25,000 rupees fixed deposit that he has in here for the trouble he is already giving you. But he's never going to do it. He'll come back again tomorrow complaining that some other bank is providing tea for the customers. Next type, banking enthusiasts. This kind mostly are senior citizens. Their hobby nowadays is apparently banking. They will make some reason to visit a bank every single day. If they have a fixed deposit maturing next month, they will come one month in advance to let you know that next month their fixed deposit is maturing. And after a few days, they will come to remind you to be prepared for the withdrawal. Then one day he comes and withdraws his money. And another day, he comes back and deposits the money back into the bank. I love them man. With their enthusiasm for learning internet banking, their phone banking, ATM transactions and whatnot. These people come one day to enable internet banking. And for the next two weeks, they'll come back complaining that somehow it is not working, their laptop is not working, their internet is not working, nobody is teaching them to use it. And another day, they come back and tell you that they have successfully transferred 1000 rupees to somebody else. And they want to make sure that the transaction is reflected in their passbook. They even use ATMs every single day and even if 100 rupees is withdrawn, they make sure that before the end of the day, that particular transaction is printed in their passbook. Next kind is Vigilante. These kind of people are poisonous like a viper. ATM card is not received in one single week. They'll send a complaint letter to the managing director of the bank complaining that the bank manager is inefficient. You direct 12 rupees for the SMS banking facility. They'll send a complaint to the banking ombudsman. Your network was down for a day and you could not conduct any transactions. They'll call a press conference and demand an action from RBI man. There are plenty more but I think this gives a fair idea. Let's all remember that the banking fraternity in India are giving you all the needed services with a very basic infrastructure and an inadequate manpower. To sympathize with them, let us share this video to every banking professional you know to show our support. To tell them that we care, we know, we understand. 
Let me know what you think of the video by commenting below. If you like the video, click thumbs up and I'll be posting new videos every week. So remember to click subscribe or subscribe down below in case you're browsing from your phone. Thank you for watching the video. Ciao.